In this lesson, we will get familiarized with Moodle and its interface. After logging to Moodle site, you'll see the Moodle front page. The site name that you have entered is treated as the default course name. The whole Moodle site is divided in five major areas, that is left site block area, right side block area, central course area, header area, and footer area. In the header area, on the top right, we have logging bar, and on the top left, we have site name. In the footer section, status bar is displayed with a link to Moodle website. The left site blocks are fixed and cannot be deleted or hidden. On the contrary, right hand side blocks are flexible in nature. You can edit or delete existing blocks, add new ones, and relocate them. The central area is reserved for displaying courses and their overview. The highlighted box represents the navigation block. Click on the home link to revisit the side main page. Expand my profile tree. My profile tree displays all profile related settings. By clicking on View Profile, you can see your complete profile. By clicking the Messages link, you can view messages and send them to any user site-wide. You can store your private files in My Private Files area and recall them anytime by clicking this link. Now, hide my profile tree by clicking the downward arrow. The next block under consideration is Settings block. It displays all contextual settings, my profile settings, and site administration. As we are on the front page, so, front page settings are displayed. Turn editing on, allows teachers to enable the editing mode, to change the appearance and functionality of the course. We can add resources or activities, or add remove blocks, on the front page while in editing mode. Clicking edit settings will take you to a new page, where you can edit front page settings. Now expand my profile settings. As seen in the previous lessons, using edit profile would allow us to edit the profile settings. Your account password can also be changed by using this link, besides from the edit profile page. Collapse my profile settings by clicking the downward arrow. Now expand site administration. As the name suggests, site administration provides all site wide settings that you may need as an admin. Only an admin has access to site administration settings. Now expand users tab. And then, accounts tab. Here, we can perform user related actions like, adding a new user, or deleting a user of site level, etc. Now, collapse users tab. And expand, courses tab. Here, we can add or delete courses, set default course settings, and backup and restore courses. Now, collapse the Courses tab. And then, collapse the Site Administration tab. The highlighted box on the top right, represents the site description. Calendar block, is used to represent important dates for the course. In the central area of the Moodle site, all the available courses are listed. By clicking, Add a new course link, you can add a new course. Kindly note, by default only admin can add a new course. Now, click Turn Edit and On. Here, you can notice certain icons below the blocks in the left and right side block area. These icons do specific tasks like Move, Edit, Delete, Hide, and Assign roles. We will see more details in the coming lessons. Now, navigate to Add a Block drop-down menu in the right bottom, and expand it, to see different blocks, that can be added on the front page of Moodle site. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and, implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.